In order to learn Godot, I started by making a bunch of small games to better understand if it's the right engine for me. I started off making this little game where you fire spells at scarecrows based upon an idea that a friend and I have for a potential game. Then I thought, okay, let's make a bunch of things to exercise concepts I don't know. So this demo shows the input in the bottom right changing based upon the last pressed input source. So if it was a controller or a keyboard, it would change because I wanted to learn about that. Then I made some bullet patterns, which I then dropped into this bullet hell shmup style shooter where the enemies come in wave after wave. You have to dodge their bullets and then attack them. This was the biggest game and the game I spent the most time on, about five hours learning. And there's the background scrolls and those randomly get sized and placed and they're Speed is random, the enemies come in, they have their different firing types. You have health, they have health. There's a little bit of juice polish, like when an enemy's hit, you see the explosion and they change their color to red when they have one health left. It was really, uh, learned a ton and really enjoyed this bullet heck demo. Then I moved on to a 2D platformer, not too dissimilar to Mario. This uses the tile map editor in Godot. A lot of these resource, a lot of these games, I just use free public domain sprites from Kenny the renowned entity that makes a bunch of free game assets, and that really helped me just focus on learning and programming. From there, I made a game called Bunny Blaster, which is kind of like Mega Man or Contra or Carol Blaster. Carol Blaster is one of my favorite games, so uh, yeah, that was the kind of vibe I was going for. Assets by Kenny again. Learned a bunch about collisions and shooting and all that good stuff. Um, and a lot of these ideas are ones I would explore to see, like, hmm, would I make a full game of that? Then I made a visual novel type demo. This is so common in games to need text boxes with character speaking. I really love that. I think as a solo dev, too, that's a good way to tell a story without having to animate a bunch. And I like reading and I like literary type experiences. So um, messed around with that. Then it was, okay, let's dive into 3D. And here's the simple shooting at targets. That was a ton of learning, making those uh, models, the assets, and those types of things. Then I made this space game that's kind of like Star Fox, where you pilot a ship. The first version was basic, then I made it so the ship tilts and moves. And there's specific names for that I learned about that I can't remember. Uh, then I made a driving game where you drive this car around. I really wanted to make like a high-speed game where you're drifting around a track, but I like pretty quickly lost interest in this and realized that I don't really like programming cars and thinking about that. And then I ended on a first person shooter. So this was a ton of fun, learned a lot. I did all this in 24 hours and hopefully that helps you get a sense of uh, how quickly you can work with Godot. All right, thanks. See ya, bye.